boy. Holy balls, that's a big one. Grab the tail, there you go, we got him. Oh, that's big, that's a big fish. Dude, that might be my PB walleye. It's gotta be 28 to be my PB. Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of MAV. Today, we're back on the Rainy River, but uh, I'm with a familiar face. Hi. Who are you for the people that don't know? Uh, my name is Matt, MK Fishing Guide Service. We're just out here on the Rainy River, beautiful Rainy River, mind you, catching walleyes, and who knows, maybe we'll snag into a sturgeon or two. So the wind is blowing east today, it's coming right down the pipe, hence the uh, the jackets. Matt forgot his in the truck, so he's a, he's a little SOL. So this is Jeremy. By the I've way, I doubled up in sweatshirt, so I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hopefully put a hurting on some walleyes today. 26 is the fish to beat for me today. I think it'll happen. I absolutely don't know what I'm doing out here by myself. So Matt is a professional guide, and he's gonna he's gonna show me around the Rainy River. So let's let's get after it. Let's catch some fish, and hopefully uh, we have some have something to show for today. King. First one of the day. Is that the size that Rainy River is known for? Um, no. You'll <laughs> catch a lot of eater-sized walleyes, but you got the big ones are in here too. Hopefully we'll get a big one this next time. I found a wood. It's a nice wood. All right, we're doing a trick. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm snagged on a piece of wood. And most people would just pull on it and break their line. But I'm gonna let out a whole bunch of line. My line will go downstream. I'm gonna give her a big jerk and it might come out. Or it might not. Come on, you just gotta, you just gotta want it. And now I'm staying. On the boat. But we're free, so it worked. Went from snagged on the wood to not snagged on the wood. Here. Just a little guy again. There he comes. Plastics and walleyes. Look at all these leeches though. They're just loaded. Every fish I've caught. And that's why, oh there goes that fish. That's why every time I reel one in, they're all over my hands. A lot of these in here right now. A little sauger maybe? That one's actually really bad. Yeah. That's a big one. Bagging. 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 It's gotta be big. Unless unless he's got a big mouth. Oh yeah. This could, could, could be it. This could be the one. Yeah. This could be the one. Could it be 26? Biggest one of the day. It's a nice fish. Yeah. Nice. It's the biggest one of the day. It's got a mess of leeches on it. Oh my god, dude, there's so many in its gills, it's disgusting. <laughs> Look at that. Leeches all in the gills and then right there. I'd say it's probably about a 22, 23. Yeah. Yep. Not huge. Not what Rainy River's known for, so we're gonna get this guy back. Hopefully catch one a little bit bigger, but that's one step closer to beating 26. Let's get him. What you got, boy? I got me a sturgeon. Mind you, I got my drag crank pretty tight, so either it's coming in or it's going to break. Oh, let's land him. What do you think? All right, all right, all right. You don't want to? Mm, Come on. We're really testing out the equipment today. <laughs> got the modified Albright knot, 10-pound fluorocarbon with 10-pound... Uh, 10 pound braided line. Oh shit, he's turning on me. That's what you call boat control right here, boys. Oh shit, screwed it up. Holy balls, that's a big one. See, it drives me nuts when I see people fighting a sturgeon on a walleye rod because they fight it like they're fighting a walleye. You gotta fight it like it's a dang sturgeon. Mm -hmm. Good gosh almighty, man. It ain't moving. Jeez, and rice bat, man. You can hang a car off of this rod, I promise. One of them little toy cars, it hangs real nice. Makes good musky bait. He ain't really moving around much. He's just kind of down there like, I think something's pulling on me, but I'm not sure. I think there's a leech on my back. Good eater size, hopefully. It's a delicacy over in Canada. But now we're in the US. This is a US sturgeon now. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah. 
you say you fought one of these things for 45 minutes the other day? No, we did not Justin did, yeah. They fought it for 45 minutes. You gotta fight them. It's like, oh, well, the first 30 minutes, it didn't know it was hooked. And then it's like, why am I still swimming? I'm tired. Nope, oh, we got leader, we got leader. Oop. Somebody's gotta get ready with a, don't worry about the net, you're just gonna have to tailgate. Yep. Yep. That won't do you a damn bit of good. Nope. Grab the tail, there you go, we got him. Nice. We got him, you got him? Yep. Okay. Okay. That's a good one, dude. That's a huge, that's a good one. But it's and 50. I am covered in slime. <laughs> so, and that only took what? 10 minutes? Uh, 11 minutes. So for those of you who fight these for two hours, don't do that. It took me 11 minutes on 10 pound line on a medium action spinning rod. So let's grab that 30 inch, 36 inch stick there. See if we can get a, a rough measurement on this thing. So 36, 46, 46 54. 54 inches. So there's a 54. Look at this, this side, his gills all, gill plate's all messed up. Oh dude, he's missing it. It's folded in. And that's, that ain't us. Mm -hmm. You know what that's from? What? Somebody gill grabbing them, I bet. Oh really? I would bet. Because you, you don't want to grab them by the gills. No. So, all right, you ready? Yep. Come on, girl. Ugh. Try not to fall in. Come on, baby. Oh, there's coming back to life. Okay. There she's coming. Give her a couple minutes here. And there she goes. There she's ready. Straight back down to the depths. All right. Sweet, dude. <laughs> nice. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey! Look at this slime though. That is all slime. Ugh. All right. Well, thank you, Mav, for convincing me to catch that fish because it was fun. So. <laughs> Oh, that's big. That's big. No, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's, that, if this is a walleye, it's huge. Yep, take it easy. Take your step back. Yep, there you go. Nice fish, very nice fish. This is a big one. All right, don't pull, don't pull. Do not pull, it's nice and easy. Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes! Nice dude, that might be my PB walleye. That's huge. It's gotta be 28 to be my PB. It could be. It's long. Thank you for netting that one, Jeremy. Look at that. That is why we came to the Rainy River. I definitely think that's gonna be bigger than 26. But we're gonna bump her here and we're gonna see just what we're working with. What do we got? Uh, just shy of 28. Just shy of 28. So a little over 27 and three quarters. Nice. Nice. A nice 20, fish. 27 and three quarters. Yeah. Not my PB, but my biggest fish on the Rainy River. Yeah. Definitely beats my 26 from last weekend and a dandy. Just a quarter inch shy of the PB, but I'm not going to complain. Bye bye. Nice, dude. Nice oh, yeah, buddy. Thank you for that. Net. The awesome job. <laughs> <laughs> right on. The weather's kind of changed a little bit. We got a little bit of a storm coming in. I don't know if it's uh, if it's gonna start raining on us or snowing or what, but super happy that I got that fish. Just a quarter inch shy of my PB. Just that much closer. I think we're gonna wrap things up right now. I don't know. We're gonna get back to the launch and get back home safe. Maybe maybe go get some dinner and you know reminisce on the days on the rainy river. So thanks again to Matt for taking me out. And thanks for Jeremy for netting my big fish. Absolutely. You got anything you want to say to the kids? Uh, yeah. Keep watching Mav's video. <laughs> um, hopefully you can learn something from it. Uh, when you're watching these videos, make sure you pay attention to what the actual anglers are doing because um, there's a lot you can learn just from watching a person's rod tip and how they're moving that rod because you can explain what you want to people, but unless you can physically see it happen, you're just you're just not going to get it. So just, just pay attention to those little things. 100%. Couldn't have said it better. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. If you'd be so kind to go down below, comment, subscribe, give this video a like if you thought it was good. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Remember, I'm going to be at Thorn Brothers on April 14th from 10 to 3. So come and see me. It's in Blaine, Minnesota. And... Again, see you guys on the next episode of MAP. Tight lines. <laughs>